Greetings from Maple Shade High School and welcome to today's edition of Wildcat News. Today is Tuesday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day and on this episode we've got your news, trivia and much more. That's all coming right up, but first please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First, we have another trivia question for you. Today's question is... If you know the correct answer, email it to Mrs. Lyons at klyons at msemail.org to possibly win a prize. Winners and answer will be announced on tomorrow's show. First, today's spotlight on Black History feature is Meek Mill. Let's learn more about him. Robert Rameek Williams, known as rapper Meek Mill, was born and raised in Philadelphia. He embarked on his music career as a battle rapper and later formed a short-lived rap group, The Bloodhounds. In 2008, Atlanta-based rapper T.I. signed Meek Mill to his first record deal. Now at 35, he's using his platform to give back to his community. He, alongside former Sixers owner Michael Rubin and Jay-Z, have fought for criminal justice reform through the Reform Alliance Foundation started in 2018. In this past year, he paid the bail for 20 mothers who were on parole and probation so they could be home for the holidays with their families. This nonprofit foundation not only just helps, but grows by having the individuals joining the alliance alongside with him. Clytonia Myers, who once spent nine months in jail because she couldn't afford bail, has since joined the rapper in advocating for justice reform. Reform Alliance was also able to create a $2 million scholarship to children impacted by the justice system. Yesterday we told you that senior Elena Pectus is fundraising for the victims of a devastating earthquake that hit Turkey last week. She'll be collecting money all week during Lunch and Learn. Any amount you can spare will go directly to help. NAHS is holding their next coffee house on Thursday, March 2nd. If you are interested in performing, please see Ms. Braverman in B29. The Student Equity Council is currently planning Multicultural Day. The next meeting will be held on February 22nd in C41. All are welcome to share their ideas. The next No Place for Hate Committee meeting is this Wednesday, February 15th, after school in room C27. All students in grades 7 through 11, 12 are welcome to attend. What's on the lunch menu today? Let's go to Clyde and find out. Today for lunch, we got walking taco with chicken patty and Wing King pizza. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Clyde. Sign up for Minithon's free throw challenge. It's open to both the junior and senior high and will take place on Saturday, February 25th from 9 until 11 a.m. There's a sign-up form email to all students. See Ms. Guzmandi or any Minithon, any Minithon committee member for more information. What's the latest news with our winter sports teams? <laughs> Let's go to Angelina for the details. The wrestling team competed in their last quad of the season over the weekend. Here's some of the highlights. Lucas Vora won by decision. Chad Cloak won a close match in overtime. And Thomas Calamoris, Aaron Wells, and Kai Mattis all had wins. And here's the knock knock. Here's the, here's the joke of the week. What's green and has wheels? Grass, I lied about the wheels. Back to you guys in the studio. Uh, thanks, Ange. Time now for today's segment. Our reporters wanted to know, if there was a book about your life, what would the title be? Let's take a look at what some of you said. Hi, I'm here with... Dude. If you could have a book about your life, what would it be called? Successful Hustle. I did my best. Loud and short. <laughs> Where is Bats? That's good. What did Makaya do now? Out in the hallways too much. Panda. What is wrong with you? I would name him Victor, God's perfect gift to the world. I hate Jack Jacoby. Uh, uh. One of us is lying. Um, my life experiences. I'm here. Hi, Cameron. If you could write a book about yourself, what would you call it? I'll call it O oh Cameron. O oh Cameron, don't you cry for me. The story of Cameron Anthony Murray on the Cranberry Blossom showboat on the rivers of the South. Finally, we'd like to wish a very happy birthday to Raylan McNichols. Well that's all that's well that's all the news we have for you today.
from all of us in the TV studio. Thanks for watching and have a terrific Tuesday. Ooh,